is, I'm still the same person. It should not matter how long my hair is. I don't want to cut my hair just because people confuse me for a girl. I don't care. Why can't boys have long hair? An adult can either dismantle a stereotype or encourage one. For instance, when I was in sports class, there were two teams, one with boys and girls, the other one only girls. In the end, both of them were tied up. So when the teacher came along, she declared the girls in the one just because they had no boys in their team. This reinforces the stereotype. But in my family, we have a game. And the aim is to, when we see a stereotype, call it out. So even when my sister was three, and we would enter a toy shop, and that she would see a doll wearing a pink dress, she would yell out, stereotype. <laughs> Another time, we were in an art gallery with my mom, and she asked me to notice how the men and the women were in the paintings. I noticed that the men were fully dressed in the main part of the picture, while the women were naked or carrying children. Me and my sister know how to notify some stereotypes around us because we talk about it with our parents. But some children don't have adults to talk about these things. Coming to my point, when children grow up to become adults, it might already be too late. As adults, you have a role, and that is to teach feminism to the next generation so that they can grow up in a world with more equality. Thank you. It's four o'clock. Four o'clock. judges, my moderator, timekeeper, my fellow co-debater. My name is Samrita Kaushik. I'm 13 years old. The, the auditions are over. Now, it's time to debate. The whole concept of democracy is comments here in the... The I Beg to Differ debate tournament returns to your radio on Monday, March 7th. I strongly concur that the barbaric and outdated 16 secondary school students made the cut. For example, if you look at Cameroon, what's happening right now is so that... But, but now, to stay in the game, they'll have to go head to head. The full meaning of a job means joining other businesses, but how... If... No second chances, win or go home. What if AI is the end of the world? What if? What if it will cost the end of the world? Until we have one winner, one million naira. Join me, Sandra Ezekwasili, my panel of judges, and my great debaters, Mondays to Thursdays, live at 4 p.m. on 99.3 Nigeria Info. And catch the replay the next day from 4 p.m. on Wazobia Max TV, showing on DSTV Go TV, Star Times, and on UHF Channel 57. This tournament is brought to you in partnership with Paystack, supported by Frentivo. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator. It's time for the I Beg to Differ round of 16. It has entered its fourth and final day. Can you believe it? We are already in day four of the round of 16. <laughs> Yesterday, Ruth Okorocha and Abayomi Oguleye won their debates. And they joined Ihuoma Osunkwo, Andrella Nadi, Deborah Pamzat, and Clement Brimo in next week's quarterfinals. All these students are competing for a 1 million Naira grand prize. And a big thank you to all our sponsors and our partners who have made I Beg to Differ happen. Paystack is our headline sponsor. Paystack lets your business receive payments from anyone, anywhere in the world, and in any currency. And they're going to make sure that our winner gets there a lot. Also, a big thank you to Printivo. Printivo is an online design and um, print platform. They are an online design and print platform. Uh, whether you are a business needing to print branded collaterals or you are a person who needs souvenirs for a wedding or funeral, Printivo can help you with that. Uh, you can also create your design, select the items you want, like shirts or cups or notepads, etc., etc., and Printivo provides all of that. Uh, I have in the studio with me four gifted debaters, and these debaters all have goodie bags provided by Printivo. So thank you again to Printivo. Uh, we really appreciate your support. Now, these winners are about to go head to head. I call them winners because out of 243 uh, auditions, they made it to the top 10%. So in my book, 
their winners. But two of these winners will return next week. So now let's debate. Uh, let me introduce the contestants in our first debate. Our first debater is a grade 12 student at Princeton College. She is 15 years old. Olua Dimumu. Dimimu. 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 Mimu. I'm so sorry. Olua Dimimu. Okay. Olua Dimimu. Abigail Antonio. Welcome to I Beg to Differ. Thank you very much. Good to have you on the show. Uh, let me also mention that she's a, se she's a senior prefect at Princeton College. She let me know that uh, just before the show started. Uh, we have an ordinary member. <laughs> he doesn't have a post. Uh, the rest of the students in the studio with me have posts. But uh, this guy is just a good old fella from um, the... Uh, Federal Government College, Ijani King. Uh, his name is Oladi Kukwa Ramadan. Ola Lekong. He's 15 years old. He's in SS3. Welcome to I Beg to Differ. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Good to have you on the show. Now, these contestants have been told the rules, uh, but here they are again. I will give you a topic. One of you will be in support. One of you will oppose. You will each first get three minutes to present your positions and then you will each get another two minutes in the rebuttal round to address the points that your opponents um, made. Now, remember that this is not the playoffs. Your time is your time. If you make an error, I won't give you time to start over. If you decide to start over, your time is still counting. Our three judges will score both rounds based on number quality and originality of unique points made if you repeat a point your score will not increase clarity of thought and eloquence of presentation will earn you points for style number of opponents points addressed the strength of your rebuttal of each point now if your scores are tied there'll be a tie break around you'll switch sides and you'll debate each other's points you debate each other's um uh positions previous positions you're going to have three minutes to debate in favor of your opponent's position now you'll be scored for all new points you make which were missed by your opponent and for new rebuttals to the points that you made earlier on now you already know your topic remote work has improved the business world we're going to take a very quick break when we come back we'll choose sides and then we'll debate lagos we're streaming live on facebook facebook is nigeria info 99.3 again streaming live on facebook facebook is nigeria info 99.3 i'm sandra Ezekwesili. if you cannot watch live today or listen because you have somewhere to be not to worry well uh, you can watch it uh, uh, on dstv channel 259 on wazobia max tv you can also watch it on channel 57 if you don't have cable you can also watch it on star times or go tv business or an exciting idea for one take your business to the next level with paystack paystack helps you accept payments online from anyone anywhere in the world and in any currency they choose to pay in Naira, US dollars, pounds, any currency. We also give you all the tools you need to scale your business for free. So, no website? Cool, you can create one for free with Paystack. Are you always on the move? You can manage sales and orders from a mobile app. Do you want to get paid faster? You can send quick online invoices to your clients. And there's lots more for you to discover. To get started, create your free account at paystack.com forward slash beg to differ. Once again, go to paystack.com forward slash beg to differ to sign up free for all the tools that you need to start and scale your business. Thank you again to Paystack, our headline sponsor. Now let's decide who will go first, who will support and who will oppose. Uh, let's pick. Okay. And then Antonio. Great. So who's supporting and who's opposing? I'm supporting. You're supporting, which means Ramadan is opposing. All right, lady and gentlemen, beginning her debate about remote work improving the business world is Antonio Abigail Olua Dimimu. <laughs> Your time starts now. Good day, moderator, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, fellow debaters, and my ever attentive audience. I am Antonio Oluwadimimu from Princeton College Tiruliri, and I'm here to support the motion which says remote work has improved the business world. Remote work is a trend that isn't going to slow down soon. 
It has to do with working from a place which is necessarily not your normal office workspace. Could be working from your home, from your personal workspace, or from your favorite spots. This became the new normal during the COVID-19 lockdown, and lots of employees were forced to adapt to this mode of working because they had to get their jobs done at all costs, and there were lots of restrictions to movements. During this period, it was noticed that less commuting time had a positive impact on our environment because there was no pollution, congestion, traffic, and there was less emission of greenhouse gases, which created a safer environment for people to live in. Also, commuting takes a lot of time, energy, and effort, which could be spent much more productively. The man hours spent from your house to your workplace every morning was removed. Hence, employees didn't have to spend much on transport, fee, fuel, and all sorts. They were able to save more money. They were able to start their activities much more earlier. They, this prevented lateness. They were well rested before starting their day-to-day -day activities. And all this enhanced productivity. Also, the overhead cost of production of lots of firms and organizations was reduced. Why? Because they didn't have to spend much on cost of accommodation, feeding, transport, travel cost reimbursements, and all sorts. They were able to maximize their profits and also invest more money into smooth running of the organization. Remote working, while working remotely, there are no office distractions, such as interruptions from your co-workers, unimportant meetings, casual phone calls, and all sorts. You are able to channel your energy into working smoothly, and all these aid productivity. While working remotely, you are able to have flexible conditions of working. You can balance your personal life and your work life. All these help to enhance time management skills and all sorts. This also help in improving a person's well-being. While working remotely, you are able to channel your energy into working smoothly and also you can adjust your work into your biological rhythm and level of energy that suits you. Working remotely also, you can create a comfortable workspace for yourself in your house where, you're, where you are comfortable, you can get a bigger chair, if you have health issues, you can get special office equipment which will aid productivity. There are lots of po false positives that, oh, when a person goes to work in the morning and they come back home, They've done a lot and all sorts. But I can tell you, performance is what matters. Efficiency, focus, determination, discipline. This is what enhances productivity. This is what is productivity. This is what is development. So I'll tell you, I hope I was able to convince you, each and every one of you, including my opponents, that remote working has improved the business world. It doesn't, deter it doesn't matter where you work, when you work, or what you do. It determines what all the determinants uh, if you're efficient. Thank, thank you very much. You. Thank you very much. Good job. Well done, Antonio. Good job. <laughs> Antonio Abigail Oluwadimimu yeah. supporting that remote work has improved the business world. She's a senior prefect. She's an SS3. Uh, and she's 15 years old. She goes to Princeton College. Her opponent is Oladik Bukwa Ramadan Olalekon. He's a, an ordinary member <laughs> without a post. But today he'll be opposing that remote work has improved the business world. Ramadan, your time starts now. Once upon a time, the business world thrived and flourished. But with the advent of remote work, the unfortunate opposite has been the case. What I'm about to reveal in this debate is absolutely shocking. The remote work is indeed a wolf in sheep's clothing. It presents itself as seemingly advantageous, but in reality, the disadvantages it has on the business world greatly outweighs whatever benefits it might have. No one passes by a royal family without paying obeisance, so I would like to give my respect to whom it is due. But as I say good day, Madam Moderator, my esteemed panel of judges, my accurate timekeeper, my disputant co-debater, and my ever-attentive audience. I'm Madam Bora Madonna Lariko. I'm 15, and I'm from Federal Government College, Ejani. I'm here to present my views and strongly oppose the motion which says that remote work has improved the business world. Without further ado, I'll go straight to my point. Firstly, remote work has led to increased cybersecurity concerns like data breaches and ransomware attacks. In the year 2020, the remote work system became very, very prominent due to the COVID-19 outbreak, which forced all employees to adapt to a remote work system. This has led to increased data breaches because the computers used for remote work are personal computers which lack advanced security measures and creates a loophole for hackers to have access to confidential office information. This is evident in the number of data breaches recorded in the year 2020. 1,862 data breaches were recorded, quadrupling the amount of data breaches in recent years without the advent of remote work. 
Ransomware attacks and malware attacks have also been on an increase. So ransomware is basically a program that blocks off two remote computers and then the programmers demand ransom from a company before they restore this access. Ransomware attacks cost the business world an insane $5.2 billion in the year 2020. Only 715 million companies were affected. In other words, every single second in the year 2020, 22 companies went into downtime as a result of ransomware attacks. And yet you say remote work has improved the business world? Hmm, I wonder. But I'll go to my next point. Remote work has led to increased expenditure. Every, uh, everybody here agrees with me that for the business world to thrive, it has to cut down on all unnecessary expenditure. But with the advent of remote work, gratuitous expenditure like internet cost, tech support, and video conferencing platform subscriptions are inevitable. This has cost the business world an insane $12 billion. This $12 billion is enough to set up 10 oil refineries, 200 banks, 100 aviation companies, and 10 car manufacturing plants. But all this money gone due to remote work. And my opponent still says remote work has improved the business world. But I'll move on. Distractions dominate the remote work system. According to Yavar Sigal, distraction is a big enemy of the business world. And it's winning. We are losing big time, my friend. We're losing time and we're losing money. Yavan Singao examined the distractions level when working remotely in comparison to the distractions level when working in an office space. The distraction level triples. This means the business world loses triple the amount they lose when you work in, in an office. So on analysis, 6.2 million naira is being lost every single second due to distractions in the workplace. Recapitulating on all these facts and figures, it is crystal clear that the remote work system has not improved the business world. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Oladik Bukpo Ramadan, Olalekon there. I can only already hear how tough this will be for my judges to judge. But I trust them. I trust them. I trust them. Lagos, you're listening to I Beg to Differ on 99.3 Nigeria Info. I Beg to Differ is brought to you by Paystack, supported by Printivo. Just Food is providing delicious ice cream for the winner of each round of the round of 16 debates. You've just heard from a grade 12 student at Princeton College. She's 15 years old. Olua Dimimu Abigail Antonio. She supported that remote work has improved the business world. Swinging very heavily, her opponent Oladi Kupo Ramadan Olalekong opposed that remote work has improved the business world. He's also in SS3. He's a 15 year old at the Federal Government College, Ijani King. Ladies and gentlemen who are listening, uh, we'll take a break. When we come back from this break, we will move to the rebuttal round. During the rebuttal round, they'll have two minutes each to uh, make a rebuttal of the points from their opponents. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator. You can find me on social media, S. Ezekwesili on Instagram, Sandra Ezekwesili on Facebook, S. Ezekwesili on Twitter. This is Nigeria Info FM 99.3. Hey, 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 you know when I'm here, I've got good news for you. Yes, Paystack helps businesses like yours accept payments online from anyone, anywhere in the world, in any currency. So let's say you have customers in Nigeria, Ghana, the USA or Malaysia, they can pay you online. Even if they don't have Naira, they can pay you in dollars or CDs or pounds or euros, any currency that works for them. And you, you get paid. That's why over 60,000 businesses, startups and government agencies are using Paystack right now. Paystack is powering their growth. And if you choose Paystack today, you get free access to all the tools they're using. If you're just starting, these tools will help you launch your business and start getting paid. If you're already operating, they'll help you scale faster. I mean, what are you waiting for? Well, if you're wondering, what are these tools? If you don't have a website, Paystack helps you create one for free without any technical skills. There's the free mobile app for managing sales and orders even while you're on the move. 
And if you want to send invoices, fiam, you can do it right from the app or website and your customer can pay you online. And that's just the beginning oh, of what Paystack can do for you. So I know you want to get started. I mean, guess what? It's easy. Just open your free account at paystack.com slash beg to differ. That is paystack.com slash beg to differ. Sign up for free and right away you can access all the tools you need to get started and scale your business while getting paid from anyone, anywhere and in any currency. So what are you waiting for? Head over to paystack.com slash beg to differ and get started. All right, you heard the lady, paystack.com forward slash beg to differ. It's time for the rebuttal round. Remember, you've got two minutes um, to make your points. This time, we'll start with the opposer, Oladi Kupo uh, Ramadan Olale Kong. Your time starts now. My opponents clearly stated that all workers were forced to adapt to the remote work system. Forcing workers to adapt to a new system is definitely not efficient. And she also mentioned less commuting time and cost. This is actually true because no one spends time on the road due to traffic jams commuting to their place of work. But in comparison, the cost spent due to commuting to an office and the cost spent on internet for remote work greatly differs. The cost spent due to commuting is 158 billion naira. But the cost spent on internet only in the year 2020 was measured to be an estimated $250 billion. Combining all costs like ransomware, tech support, and internet, it's like traveling with a rocket because fuel for your car is expensive. My opponent also talked about office distractions like casual phone calls and unwanted meetings. Casual phone calls also occur when you work remotely, or do they? Do you, are you trying to say that only when you work in a in a remote or in, only when you work in an office do you get unwanted phone calls? That's definitely not a fact because when we work in a remote space, we also get unwanted phone calls. And unwanted meetings actually escalate during a remote work system because the board of management is trying to keep an eye on all workers, and then unwanted meetings will definitely come up. You talked about um, flexible workspace due to remote work. There are also flexible workspace set up when you work in an office. Many, many employees at the Apple headquarters work flexibly even in their office. My opponent also talked about a comfortable workspace when you're working remotely. You can definitely set up a comfortable workspace working in an office. I mean, this is a comfortable workspace and we're in an office. We're not working remotely. So with this, I hope I've been able to report some of the points that my opponent made and clearly state that remote work has definitely not improved the business world. Thank you very much. Olami Lekon, well done. Ola Lekon, sorry. (laughs) Ola Lekon, Ramadan, Ola Dikupo. Opposing the motion that remote work has improved the business world. Abigail Antonio Luadimimu, you are up next. You've got two minutes. Your time starts now. All protocols duly observed. My opponent talked about distractions while working remotely. I feel every employee has their company's best interests at heart. So if you set your priorities right, you are determined, your attitude to work is great, you'll be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve with no restrictions or whatever. I remember when my aunt used to work at home, her children already knew that, oh, this is work time, mommy is working, she already set their things where they're supposed to be. They already know what they're supposed to do. And she was able to channel her activities very well. She was able to be much more productive during this period. You have to be disciplined. It's all about determination. Also, you talked about increased expenditure and all sorts. You're only talking about internet costs and all sorts. But you're forgetting that when you're working on sites, this you spend on transport, travel cost reimbursements, mode of accommodation, feeding, and all sorts. This is much more... A company spends much more while doing all this compared to just um, tipping their um, employees with data and all sorts. Also, you talked about cybersecurity concerns. I can tell you, companies are not dumb. They have IT departments. They organize seminars for their workers to be able to be, to be, for them to have the technological know-how to run remote working because 
because you know this it came suddenly actually we only came suddenly but you know what doing all these like the employees were able to figure out new skills they become they became more technologically enhanced you can't make them stagnant they have to try out new things the remote working actually opened our eyes to lots of things it made us realize that performance is what matters the most results is what matters the most doesn't matter how you do your work the results is what matters also my opponent talked about um casual phone calls distractions and all sorts i can tell you there are distractions everywhere but you just have to be determined, efficient. You have to have a good attitude to work for you to have all this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Antonio, good to have you debate with us today. Well done. Well done to both of you. Thank you for a wonderful debate. I can tell you that Lagos is very excited about this round. Everyone is watching on Facebook. Everyone is rooting for both of you. You have given my judges such tough work really tough work but uh, the scores will be in in a matter of seconds really and once they are in we will see who the winner is i always say that there can be only one winner now lagos if you just tuned in this is i beg to differ on 99.3 nigeria info i beg to differ is a student debate tournament for secondary school kids who are between the ages 13 to 17. this edition focused on children between 14 to 16 and um, this year uh, we received over 240 auditions out of those 240 auditions from uh, 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 secondary school students all over Lagos we chose the top 16 you just listened to the fourth set the final four of the top 16 uh, you listened to a 15 year old uh, SS3 student at Princeton College uh, her name is Olua Dimi Abigail Antonio. You also listened to 15-year-old 15, uh, 15 SS3 student at Federal Government College in Janiking. His name is Oladi Kukwo Ramadan or Lalekon. And they debated remote work has improved the business world. Fiery debate they gave us but there can only be one winner. So let's find out who that winner is. Remember, you can watch on Facebook. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. If you cannot watch us live, you can always, um, you know, uh, watch again on Wazobia Max TV. Wazobia Max TV is on DSTV and it's also on Go TV and it's also on Star Times as well as your regular TV if you don't have cable. During the presentation round, Abigail scored 45 points. Ramadan scored 21 points. For style, the judges awarded Abigail 24 points and Ramadan 27 points. During the rebuttal round, Abigail scored 12 points. Ramadan scored 36 points. For style, the judges awarded Abigail 24 points, Ramadan 27 points, with a total of 111. The next debater moving on to the I beg to differ quarterfinal is Oladikup or Ramadan Olaleko. Congratulations, well done. Thank you very much. You just qualified for the quarterfinals next week. Thank you so much, Antonio, for taking part. You put up a great fight. You scored 105. That was very, very close. You did so well. And of course, remember that out of over 240 applicants, you were in the top 10%. Thank you so much for being a part of this. We hope we see you again in the next edition. Uh, you can leave the studio now. Well Thank done. You. And please pick up your bags from Printivo. Uh, no, what? What are you leaving? Your paper? You can take it if you want. It's yours. It's your souvenir. It's your, it's your, it's your belt. Like the WWE. <laughs> well.
Well done. Good job. Now we have the next two debaters in the studio with us. They are waiting. They are raring to go. But we'll take a very quick break. When we come back from this break, we'll hear from our next set of debaters. Thank you so much to both of them for a wonderful debate. I'm Sandra Ezekwasili. We'll be right back. Do you have a growing business or an exciting idea for one?